are shortening, the air is picking up a crisp chill, and as we all know, football season is here. But UNR has seen a different kind of change this fall. Brett Sutterfield has the story. Welcome to the Tahoe After Hours Show. I'm Lindsay Felsch. We're down here at the flight deck located at the South Lake Tahoe Airport. It's a great atmosphere, great food, and a great place to be. Let's go check it out. The day finally came for roughly 1,500 UNR students. Seniors celebrated the end of an era and the beginning of a new one with graduation. But that new era after college sometimes comes with uncertainty. Finding a job in this economy is not easy these days, and as reporter Carissa Williams found out, it has many students wondering what's next. The Boys and Girls Club of Trucking Meadows and Bully Sports Bar and Grill held their 7th annual Paul Sonner Community Thanksgiving Eve dinner celebration. The event started several years ago um, with Bully Sports Bar um, and its owner at the time, Paul Sonner. He was heavily involved in the community, really wanted to give back to the community as much as possible. Um, and so it kind of started by him coming to us saying, you know, what can we do? How can we make this an event? And so it started off small, just our kids, our community around here, the schools in the neighborhood, and it's kind of gotten bigger every year. At this event, families, friends, and members of the community gathered together for a free Thanksgiving meal with turkey, pumpkin pie, and all of the traditional Thanksgiving fixings. We had a huge turnout from just different organizations, many, many uh, sororities, fraternities, lots of people from UNR. Um, it, it was a really great turnout. Together, the Boys and Girls Club and Bully serve more than a thousand community members each year in order to make everyone's Thanksgiving holiday special. It's a time of need, and more so now than in, in recent past, and it definitely benefits the community. We've seen just being here since about 3.30, I guess about a thousand people have gone through here and we're expecting more. Not only did people come out to enjoy a great meal provided by bullies, but many volunteers came to support the community members. There's so many people here from the community that we put the word out, whether it's uh, veterans, elderly, people that live in the neighborhood, really at risk populations, anyone that wants to come out, this is, it brings people together. It brings us to a common ground of we're all in this together and we all need to be helping one another. Even our very own Governor Brian Sandoval came to the Boys and Girls Club to show his support for the community. Well, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and a happy holidays. And it's real important, again, to give back and help those people in need. We're in tough times right now. And for those of us that are very blessed, I think it's important that we reach out and help everybody so that all of us can have a wonderful holiday. Over 100 volunteers came to the Boys and Girls Club for the Thanksgiving dinner to give back to their community for the holidays. For Wolfpack Week, I'm Lindsay Felsch. With campus closed for Veterans Day, students had a chance to catch up on some homework or catch the annual holiday parade in downtown Reno. For veterans, the event was a warm welcome, and for residents, it was a chance to say thank you. Reporter Alex Sachs has the sights and sounds. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Lake Tahoe TV's Tahoe Tonight. Be sure to visit us on Facebook and Twitter for your updates of what's going on at Lake Tahoe TV. Your weather is up next. We'll see you next time with more Tahoe Tonight.